The evidence shows that um, the, the impact of cognitive abilities, for example, on wages is substantial. So if you meet the, and the, um, the logic is as follows. So take someone at the bottom of the distribution of cognitive abilities and see what happens with that individual if, as you start increasing cognitive abilities. You will find huge effects on, uh, on earnings. You will find a huge effects on uh, employment, the chances of being employed. You will find huge effects on the chances of having a white collar employment um, versus a blue collar employment. And we find evidence for cognitive uh, associated with uh, things like reading comprehension, uh, literacy, numeracy, and things like that. And also the same sort of exercises for uh, non cognitive self esteem and locus of control. You, we observe that, for example, your years, years of education increases as you move someone from the bottom to the top of the distribution of social emotional skills. Uh, and uh, the same way, and that has an effect on earnings. But even if you condition on earnings, so if you focus in, some, in, in a group, for example, of high school graduates, right, and you sort of control for education, the effect of skills on education, you will also find evidence of the effect of social emotional skills among those individuals on your future earnings. Um, so I, I think that the evidence is pretty robust. Uh, it's actually, uh, what is interesting here is, again, for many years, economists, we haven't been looking at social emotional skills. And now the evidence shows, suggests that those are as important as cognitive in all these dimensions.